How's it going guys? So continuing to make progress on this building project. The guys are pouring curbs today. They just pulled these forms off. So they have the floor to pour. Yeah, they're working at that front curb right now. The next thing we're gonna need to do is tear the center wall out. That concrete's gotta go, these posts. So we just got these gates put in here. Just a temporary fence to keep the cows back a little bit. And we're gonna be able to pour this floor up past this line a little bit. Basically what we're gonna be doing is We're going to be moving this fence line over to where that wall is now. So this pen will all be one big pen. And then this, which is our pre-fresh pen now, will be part of the special needs and we're going to have a new pre-fresh pen. I'm going to remove these gate panels. We're going to be reusing these. Just tearing the rest of this wall out this morning, getting ready to concrete this floor. We're gonna pour the floor in the bed pack area today. I think I'm gonna help them a little bit driving that buggy over there once they need it. We're not gonna run any rebar or mesh in the bed pack area. It's not normally what they do. It doesn't normally give issues. A nice stable base underneath. Really don't need it. They'll run some wire up in the front where we drive the mixer every day and then outside put some rebar in that stuff.
they concreted the bed pack floor this morning. We are getting this second bunker silo cleaned out. Gonna chop corn again tomorrow, so gotta get this junk out of here and then sweep it up. We have our new water trough sitting in this bunk. Filled that first bunker on Monday. Today's Thursday. And we're kind of surprised how close that second round of corn was. It's already starting to dry out. Bunch of junk wood scraps we had piled in here. Gonna burn all this stuff. We got our second bunker ready to fill. Plastics land right there. Tomorrow morning they're gonna be here around 8 a.m. So we gotta get the walls covered. First thing then after milking. So I got the bed pack floor poured today. So we just did a broom finish on this. Decided not to, to uh, float the grooves into it like we did in our heifer barn. Figured it didn't really matter because we're gonna bed it up right away again after we clean it out. A broom finish like this just gives it a little bit of grip and uh, this way, whichever way we scrape with the bucket, we're not gonna be catching on the grooves in the concrete. We gotta pour the scrape alley and the feed alley as well. I think they're doing one of these tomorrow, I guess the, the feed alley. You can see they had to step up eight inches to this outside. Yeah, it's looking really nice. It's gonna be so easy to clean out. Nice flat floor like that. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. Next video is gonna be filling that second bunker silo. So, see you guys tomorrow.